Yep, good luck with that. Now, my next guest is one of Britain's most promising athletes and recently won a silver medal at the European Championships. But just 12 months ago, her athletic career was in jeopardy after she was involved in a freak cycling accident that left her with a broken back. Emma Beckson and neurosurgeon Mr. Hussein Al Mograbi join me now. Good to see both of you this morning. Um, Emma, congratulations. Well done. You look well, you look yeah. fit. And, uh, and you've done so well, haven't you, winning that silver medal? Yes. Well, 12 months ago, I guess even sitting here seemed an impossibility, winning a silver medal. Tell me about how the accident happened. Um, went out on my bike for a normal training ride. Um, once a week, we sort of do three, four hours on the bike, meet some friends in town and um, head out together and never made it. <laughs> Gosh. Can you remember? Was it just twit? No, just. I've got no memory Gosh. of the accident or really the first couple of weeks. But... Well, you, you, it may be a blur for you, but it was very clear to those around you that you were in a lot of trouble. I mean, tell us about the damage to your back. Um, yeah, I think it was evident fairly soon. I, the paramedics at the scene, were, were certain of a spinal fracture um, because I had a bit of a hematoma. Um, on the spine, um, but I had a head injury which um, left me a bit confused. Mm. And what were the doctors telling you at this point? Um, I was aware of the fracture in the spine and that the one fracture in particular was unstable and they had concerns. I had some deficit in the left side of my body. Um, that is what muscle lack it, it, of strength. Yeah, and, and yeah. the left leg didn't work. So um, no chance of competing at this point, possibly not even chance of walking, really. Um, I think they hoped I'd walk, but, um, yeah, I think they pretty much told me <laughs> I wouldn't race again or yeah. it would be unlikely. And then in walked in your guardian angel, this neurosurgeon here, and, and you were faced with a big challenge, weren't you? Yes, because, uh, you know, she had a lot of injuries. Uh, she had a bleed in the head and she broke her spine in uh, two parts of it and uh, she was quite weak in her uh, left leg and um, we had to get her to recover from the injury itself and then to decide with her what should we do. Um, my the aim at the time is to prevent her from being paralyzed from the broken spine and get her back to her feet. Mm. So we spoke about uh, what we need to do in future and... Um, and it was a very specific keyhole operation which, which allowed this wonderful recovery that, that you do, isn't it? That's right. Uh, uh, because of the nature of, uh, of the fracture, we decided to go to keyhole surgery mm -hmm. where we put cement in the spine to, uh, to fix the fracture itself and then do a keyhole uh, uh, rods and screws. And mm -hmm. uh, she was, uh, this overall is a new technique and uh, she decided to go for this operation and she was my seventh patient and we did this operation at the University Hospital in Coventry. And amazingly, she's done very, very well. Did you, I mean, I know you're, very co you're a very good and skilled man and you have confidence in your own skills, but did you ever expect her to recover in this Not way? Not at all. No. My, my, my aim was to get her to recover from the fracture and get her just on her feet. Just her walking. So what was it like to get back on the bike and, and to get back? You must have been nervous for all your chutzpah and, and confidence to go for it. Um... Yeah, I, the first time I sat on the bike, I was very nervous, but more so concerned that if I fell off again, yes, what sort of quite. damage would I do? Um, but now I'm back riding it all the time. I don't worry about it at all. Yeah, well, you're an inspiration. I know it's a lot of hard work behind the smiles there. Well done on the silver medal, and you, you're hoping to compete in the spring competitions, aren't you, and, yeah. and world championships next year? Hopefully at the Europeans in the spring mm. and then the world championships in the autumn. Yeah. Well, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And, and your youngsters as well, that you've got three children. It must have been a terrifying period for them as well. Um, I'm sure it was probably the eldest one suffered yeah. the most, being that bit older, and my husband. Um, They'll believe you when you say, careful on the roads, <laughs> won't they now? They'll have to listen to you. <laughs> well, it's fantastic, and it's lovely to meet you, and good luck. I hope you go on to greater success, and congratulations on some brilliant work as Thank well. You. Now.